today. Oh, I want to share something with you because um, it, it's apropos of a lot of stuff we've been talking about lately. And um, uh, we have some friends in uh, Joshua Tree, California that uh, uh, David, David Zimmerman, he uh, had a stroke a few years ago and was completely paralyzed on his right side. He's like, and it messed up his mind, his speech, everything, you know, even just doing things with his left side was, were, were screwed up. And uh, he was, uh, you know, pretty much bedridden for, for most of the year. And uh, the doctors said, you know, after a year, you're, that's pretty much it. You're kind of stuck there. And that's whatever's happened so far, that's happening. We've been talking a lot lately about reclaiming your nervous system. And um, this is apropos of that, because Susan Jordan, his wife, has uh, said, uh, not on my watch, and immediately started a program to rehabilitate, to get full recovery. And um, uh, despite the fact that it was really grim and, you know, he just basically just wanted to sleep all day because anything, any slightest movement was just like a huge exertion. It just, uh, he just conked out. So, uh, she started this program to get him going. So just a little background. They are both Taiji teachers and have been for doing Taiji for, for decades. And, uh, so they're, they have that behind them. And so there's a, a, a confidence that we can do something so that the mind can, and, and one of the questions that came up in, in, uh, for the topic was, you know, the mind leads the chi and the chi leads the body or the blood. So the, you learn by getting your intention in place, your E, your, the higher mind that what we're calling the superconscious mind, you get that going and that leads the energy and that then renews the physical structure. So in keeping with that, they were doing a program and uh, largely influenced by the idea of what we've been talking about feeling, that is actually getting in touch with the sensation prior to the perception. That is the raw data coming in prior to what I think about it. So, um, so by just by tuning into those sensations, and gradually reclaiming first the uh, afferent or uh, sensory neural network, rehabilitating that and the parts of the brain that it shut down. So before we get into the motor or the doing part, just get, get so that the brain is starting to recognize incoming information and the neuron synapses that had been fried by the stroke well, the brain has to do a little workaround. So there's a lot of redundancy in your nervous system. So you have the capacity to generate new neural connections and even new neurons in some cases. So by, that, by accessing that redundancy in the brain, they started to piece back things together. And it was a very grueling process and uh, and has been and continues to be, but the uh, uh, the progress is starting to snowball. So that now uh, they live in Joshua Tree, so a lot of back roads there. So he's now able to drive a car. He's able to take long walks and uh, and carry stuff and and uh, starting to get his his left right coordination back. And uh, so I just got this note from her the other day, and it was uh, uh, she talking about the uh, recovering Tai Chi practice. This is for dated the seventeenth, so it's a couple of weeks ago. But um, she said that the uh, stage one was David remembering that he used to do Tai Chi, but had no idea what the moves were, much less the sequence of the moves. So they started working on the opening movement, and. Uh, just doing the opening movement revealed uh, how much energy blockage there was and how bad his balance was. He'd get lightheaded and need a nap after doing that simple move a few times. And then uh, we then worked up to doing the first three moves. 
three moves in is a sequence, and that was an overwhelming surge of energy and required him to take several days off from the practice completely. And then he'd repeat that cycle. At some point, the reactions to the energy subsided. While we were assisting a Taiji student who was working on the 48 form, which is a simplified long form, um, when, the, uh, when the fog cleared for David. This is the form he does and teaches the most for the last 10 years. In one day, he got through a sequence of four moves. A few days later, he could add the rest of the row. Within two weeks, he was half, he was, ha had half of the 48 form back. Uh, this, uh, this time it's happening without parasurges. It seems as his mind found his way, uh, his old neural pathways that remembered the form. They were still intact, but he had lost connection with them. At this moment, he could do a sequence of half the form without forgetting the order of the form. So that is absolutely miraculous. And if you know David, as many of us do, it uh, uh, just terrific. And we're so happy that he's, uh, he's really making this huge, huge recovery. And they're also kind of breaking new ground in terms of how to rehabilitate um, stroke. And, and I think this has a, a lot of carryover for the entire nervous system and gives us a lot of hints about neuroplasticity in general. That is our capacity to regenerate our nervous system, grow new neurons and keep the mind constantly refreshing uh, who knows how long it can, you know, uh, I'm going on the hypothesis that we can do this until we're, uh, till we're six feet under for however long that takes. So uh, uh, Jonathan, and I have a, a good friend, uh, Lawrence Lachan, who died last year at age 100, but you know, he, I, he did, I thought his best work as a, as a writer in um, uh, after he was 90. And uh, he did it published a, a book which I consider to be really a, a, a triumph. But so there is this capacity, we have this capacity to um, do new, new things, create new possibilities. Um,